Look at that. Beautiful cloud shapes. See the silhouette I was talking about? Makes beautiful pictures. Moon. Let's take a look around this corner. How pretty the sunset is. It's kind of scary. <laughs> oh, look, it is a good, beautiful sunset. many videos I got with sunsets as you're my subscribers let me know how many sunsets videos you have seen that I have created during the sunset and sunrise you have five minutes of this beautiful orange color and after five minutes it goes away especially in the morning morning it's like 10 minutes you got 10 minutes a beautiful orange color purplish especially during winter beautiful uh, sunset and sunrise and always remember when you take taking pictures of the sunset and sunrise always look behind you because sometimes there's clouds being shown different picture different looks so always look behind you and look in front of you and on the side of you And sometimes in the shadow you see buildings or trees. It's pretty cool. Especially when I was in Virginia. Sorry it's so loud. Try to whisper so it won't be so loud over here. So, Alright, let's go on, on the bridge. Let's take a look at the bridge. Because everything's different. It's gonna show orange back here and orange up there. Let's go look up there. You see all those lights up there? That's the light front.
Now remember when you're taking sunset and sunrise pictures do not use your flash. Get a camera stand and use the camera stand as your focus point or leaning against a tree or a pole. Take your shot because your camera will be still as hell. After you take your shot, you can go ahead and move on to the next shot or next place or wait the next shot you're going to take. Once again, see those lights? That's the light front. Do a power around. Sometimes your cameras can pick up a lot of light, sometimes it can't. Our eyes, like I said before, our eyes pick up. Look, it's a face. Oh, whoa, 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 right, look at him. He's gonna get me. Yeah, hold it still so you can really see that cloud over there. See, it's a face. It's George Washington. And look over here, it looks like somebody's sticking a bird at us. And over here, it looks like a sea monster. Damn, we've got a monster that big. I hate to see what's gonna happen to us. Look, looks like a guy with a cowboy hat is putting a finger up. How are you? Go to hell! You damn son of a you! And over here, the face is changing to something else. What the hell is changing it to? Now it looks like the cowboy has two high ends waving at us. Hey everybody, how y'all doing? And I don't know what the hell that is. What the hell is that? Look how pretty that is, the orange going right in front of our gazebo. Oh look, it looks like a Fritzstone now. Mr. Flintstone. What they, look, this looks like an Indian, look like a Maya head now. Our big monster looking things to our monster looking thing. Look, it's the uh, Easter Island head. Look, this one got an eye in it. Oh, whoa, whoa, it got a big old eye. Look, it's the Wicked Witch. <laughs> oh, get your light, pretty. And all your resources. <laughs> Let's see, what else we got out there today? What the hell is that? Mm, that looks like the pyramids now. Our monster is still the big monster. The wicked witch is dying. Her head's leaving her. <laughs> now it's all dark behind us. You can't see crap. And somebody's coming up here. I'll cut him in half. Don't you talk to me, Brad. <laughs> Just picking. I'm not a violent person. 
All right, looks like this guy's pointing a finger. No, here! Uh, I don't know what that is. It looks like a church with a crescent moon. I don't know if y'all can see this, but I'm gonna try to record as much as I can until I can't see no more with my own eyes. Our big monster looks like an alligator now with a big ass eye on top. And we got a church looking thing with a crescent moon. Uh, I don't know what the hell that is. Okay, our, we still got a monster. I don't know what the hell that is. Uh, I don't know what that is or any of that is. It looks like the Grinch laying down, enjoying a cup of coffee or something. Alright, we got some weird medieval fish that has a little antenna on top to catch his bait and his mouth is wide open and it has looks like scales from hell. Pyramids from uh, India. There's a man right here sticking his tongue out by the pyramids. Uh, looks like a weird woman with a hairdo. And look at a little alligator. See his snout and his little tail. And over here we got some weird troll looking creature. Look, our monster is getting bigger. He's got an eye now. He got his big old mouth open. It was like a seahorse. Our monster's changing form. Looks like a big turtle creature looking thing. We got a crab claw here.
our crab claws turn into some type of sacred altar in the ancient Maya day. Ancient Maya day. This Jimmy in the Maya day. Our creature over here has in scales now. Look, it's, it's a duck. Look, another uh, Easter Island statue right there. Showing it to a duck. Our creature has vanished as some weird stuff. We don't know what that is now. All right, our duck turning to two duck heads on top with a face on the side. It must be a duck hat. See that big bright light? That's the, uh, uh, it's like a boat club. It has a swim pool, a yacht, uh, doing Hurricane Trina, tore the hell out the, the original building. So they built it higher off the, off the ground, like 20 feet above the ground. And see those lights right there? That's where I was at the sunset point. And all those red lights and lights you see between my fingers from the sunset point to the big bright light is the lake front. Look! It looks like Popeye thing. It makes me wonder, are they doing it? They allowed it to, to do it because they, they want to, they put it on YouTube. So that's, they're doing it for a reason. They're getting so many views, they're making money. I know sometimes I think they're acting, sometimes it's real. I, it, that's one channel you're like, is it real or is it fake? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know sometimes. Right over there, that's where my give and take. I go bring all my stuff over there at that picnic table way over there and just go through my stuff oh look the sun is orange we might see something good let's go back out there let's take a walk look at that all right back to my story the angry grandpa and pickle I don't know if it's real or fake but but they do it I, I guess for the views because they get tons of views because there's so much drama in your life I feel sorry for pickle if he's that if that's real I feel sorry for him. I do real feel but I, you know what I don't understand why they just don't move away from grandpa the reason why they don't move away from grandpa because they're making money off this stuff making money off of drama your views I'm like, I get 50 views on this video. <laughs> and like two comments. But I do appreciate it. I'm, I'm not bitching. I'm not complaining. You know, sometimes you do have to complain. But that bums me out. That's my drama. Uh, I get really angry sometimes. And like, why? Why no one wants to watch me? I, I'm, I'm not that good. <laughs> So I'm thinking 
Should I put some drama in my videos? Should I talk about, about my life or my job? Oh, you get a kick out of my job. I got a question for my viewers. Do I go too fast when I do a power runner? Do you want me to go slower? Only a few of y'all watch these long videos and I do appreciate y'all watching. I just have a couple of questions. Do you want me to go slower when I do my power runner? I know sometimes my videos are really shaky. That's why I got it on a stick. So uh, let me know. If you want me to slow down to give you that view that you are acquiring to see. Oh man, I wanted to see that, but you went so fast. Just let me know below. I'll slow down my my uh, round shots, I call them. Or parabrama. Even though I'm using my dyslexia is always kicking in. And remember, I do have dyslexia for my new subscribers. If you watch this long video, I might make up two parts since it's 30 minutes. I do have dyslexia, and I need to make another video about that. Talk about other people who has dyslexia. That. Beautiful park, but why no one's here? Do people know about the, this park? Here's something for the evil babies to play in, or play with, or play whatever you want to call it. Uh, I heard there was an alligator out here. So we're going to see if we can get eaten by an alligator. Ranger Cookie's last video. There it is. Nice little bear. What's that? Nothing much, another day. I'm just recording the park. <laughs> you remember earlier when I was saying about what you're doing? <laughs> I'll make sure I edit him out. <laughs> See, he's doing the same thing I'm doing. See that guy right there? He's taking pictures of the sunset, even though it's a crappy sunset today. And I'm going to see if I can stay out of his camera way. So I'm going to stay in, inside. And when he's finished, whoop, he's finished, I'll walk on the outside. And we see these people earlier taking pictures of a young girl in her dress. Alright, I'm not going far. I'm going to let them go do what they're doing. Probably paid this guy to do that stuff, so 
and I'm gonna ruin his shirt. Let's take a look at the sunset. Yeah, silhouette. That's what the name is. Silhouettes of items that creep on the background of the shadow. That's a silhouette, and that makes a beautiful picture. You can see it right now how it's making that black outline of it. Now, if y'all like to see pictures of my photography, let me know. I'll put make a video of that. All right, I'm going to end this video. I know it's getting dark. And it's a 40 minute video. So I'm going to say goodbye. I'm Ranger Kiki. I'll see you in the next video. All right, I'm going to finish this up. I don't know if you can see anything. I'm Ranger Kiki. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.